stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were both like, we both said this at the same time. Hey, what is up, hello? I go by Rand, and today, I'm finally going apartment shopping, even though I don't move in until like three months. And today, I'm with Naomi. Day, have you been on my channel? You have been on my channel before. Yeah, like, like a long, twice. A long time we went, ago. We went, we went, um, we did a vlog, we went thrift shopping for the Y2K. Yes, and then you were in the Y2K yeah. video. Yeah, the so, Y2K. yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Fine. What's up, Yeah, yeah, so today we're finally going apartment shopping. Everything is on sale. So. Yeah, right? Okay, that's why we're going this early, because everything is on sale. TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, Ross, they've all opened back up, and people are flocking there. Like, y'all, I've never seen a line outside of TJ Maxx. Like, but but I've never seen so many red tags on the prices in TJ Maxx as well. Yeah, we made it to Burlington. Let's see what finds they got. I guess this store not really a secret. <laughs> Y'all, like, it looks like a wasteland in here. Like, they done cleared out all the towels. They done cleared out the necessities, the rugs. We got, like, the scraps of what's left over. I think TJ Maxx will definitely be a better hit in, like, franchises like that. But dang, I did not expect Burlington to be so empty. That's crazy. It's a gang of people in the TJ Maxx and Marshall's parking lot. Like, I can't believe how many people is out here getting to the deals. Y'all, I found a super cute tea kettle. I'm a little indecisive, but, cause it's like $25. But then again, like the majority of tea kettles on Amazon are 25 as well and up. Honestly, they're like more than that. They're like up. So I'm probably gonna get this. It's super cute though. I love the color. So I put the tea kettle back because my mom said I could find it somewhere cheaper and literally the only thing I got out of TJ Maxx was this shower curtain and these thank you cards that are for my business. One item down. A shit ton more to go. So we're in Dollar Tree. We decided to come here before going anywhere else because it's Dollar Tree, <laughs> you know? And Dollar Tree be having a lot of good things to be honest, but this is the last one of the last places I would have looked had I not been here. Um, a few days ago to get stuff from my Depop shop. These are the bowls that I've been talking about that I want. I'm gonna get four of these. I'm gonna get four of these silver little like appetizer trays. And if I can find them, four clear. Oh, they're right there. Yep, four clear of them. Clear one. All right, y'all. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. It's hot. It was just raining and windy. Ew. Look how red I look. Like, why do I look so red? <laughs> it was super hot. But right now, I'm gonna take Naomi home until the next day we go apartment shopping. It has been some weeks <laughs> it's like mid-june right now um but you know better late than never so we're about to go to ikea right now so i can continue apartment shopping because it's coming sooner than i thought i think it's actually 60 days away i have a countdown on my phone i've been wanting a huge mirror like i'm talking floor mirror like like y'all will see exactly what it is because i'm pretty sure they'll have it in stock when we go i'm gonna just make sure to find the one that i'm looking for at ikea and yep. And whatever else we can um, find from my apartment while being there. Because I'm pretty sure it'll be a gang of stuff. Um, I also got some white shelves. I'll show you guys that later. A gang of stuff. I I'll also show you guys that later when <laughs> we get back home. But they're also from IKEA, and I'm excited to use those in my room as well. And yeah, so let let's let's just go. I found the exact mirror that I want. It is actually cheaper. I thought it was 159, but it's only 129. Well, not even really only, because that's still expensive. But it's huge. Like, I think this is like one of my first times seeing it in person, actually. And it's way bigger than what I originally thought. I definitely want to get this, but um, I don't know how we would fit it in the car today because it's so much. Our car is entirely too small, so I might have to come back later and get it or have it shipped. I don't know. Maybe I can like buy it now and have it shipped. So we're in the storage section that has like a lot of like, uh, I guess storage, <laughs> shelving, shelving units, that's what they're called. Um, and I'm thinking about getting something like this for all of my Depop inventory because my Depop inventory is a lot and I don't constantly want to look at it. I also like these shelving units because even though I'll be able to see what it is, I do kind of still need to be able to see all of my inventory just to make it easier to pick up um but i do need to know the floor plan i know the floor plan of my apartment but i don't know like exactly the space of the closet or anything like that so i gotta be cautious before i make any bulky purchases like this even though i am very much leaning towards this one now and i should also keep looking around just because there are many other options in this huge store so this is what the shelving units that i was telling you guys about earlier looks like um the ones that my aunt gave us 
so they're pretty simple i think they're like this or they look like two of these put together i'm not sure um but they are just like invisible wall hanging shelves that look pretty nice so we're in the um marketplace which is where you pick up all the items that you granny you scared me <laughs> just staring at me oh god huh my camera <laughs> I just found this soap dispenser that I think I'm gonna get because I like the I don't know I think it's pretty simple and this is like pretty cheap in regards to the other ones that I found because the other ones were like $12 which was ridiculous so I had an idea since I have so much um, sewing equipment and it's com it's just growing um, to get pegboards I got two of them and they're like $15 each and I'm gonna hang like my threads everything up on the wall next to my desk so that it's all just you know in one place and it's easy to get to because putting stuff in drawers and just not having much quicker access to it is really a pain and I also got two of these pride um, shopping bags because you know I just picked up these 41 oh these 16 by two, well wh 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 whichever centimeter or inches um, these frames that are pretty simple actually those are examples of how they're gonna look right up there um, because I wanted the picture that I buy to take up the vast majority of it so this is gonna be really nice and I'm thinking about getting prints from the modern witch tarot deck um, if you guys don't know what that looks like I'll put some pictures up but they're basically just really cute um, tarot cards that are designed by this lady um, and she did a great job and I kind of want them on my wall so I might get those printed or they might be something else I completely forgot that I was supposed to be vlogging but I'm in TJ Maxx in Atlanta and I found this perfect bohemian rug um, the one I had on Amazon in my Amazon cart was a hundred dollars and it was the same size but it was mainly green and while I love the color green I didn't want to feel trapped sticking with one color and this is kind of what it looks like laid out but of course it's more vibrant but something else i put in my cart is this floor mat for the bathtub not sure if i'm gonna get this yet but um i don't know kind of want one <laughs> don't really know why and then this is a fleece for when my friends come over and spend the night it's this calvin klein queen size really nice blanket i really want this but i'm like i don't need it but i want it so Hello, I have not updated in a minute, but it's all right. So I've been collecting things very in very small increments. I think that's why I haven't been filming, but now I kind of have like a hoard in my room. So I'm gonna take you guys along to see what I have been getting. I've been to TJ Maxx and to Ikea so many times. I can't even really count. The employees probably know me by name, but let me show you guys what I got. So, oh, and I've also been shopping in my aunt's closet and things that she's getting rid of because she's having a baby so I got this from her closet these are two really nice mirrors they can actually be used as like trays you see the handles on the side or they can be hung up on the wall and there's a little thing on the back to where they can be hung up I think I'm going to use one sitting on like an end table or like oh my tv stand which is right here so i got a tv stand literally just bought this it was 15 dollars at ikea and i'll put a picture of what it's gonna look like somewhere on the screen and what these are laying on is a clothing rack so my aunt also gave me a clothing rack that she had the rest of the supplies are somewhere down there next i got some stuff from ikea and tj maxx are all reliable i can't remember if i showed you guys some of this stuff but i got double curtain shower hooks i actually love these and I did not know that they made double hook shower curtains because I got two shower curtains one you guys seen the clear at the very beginning it was just simple and clear then I got this microfiber soft shower curtain um, to go on the outside and then I got this pillowcase because I like decorative pillows on my bed and I want to get like a variety of very different decorative pillows so we just got this little salmon pink colored one right now and this right here I love these curtains so these are DKNY black well they're called room darkening curtains um I'm not sure how dark they'll make my room because I'm very accustomed to blackout curtains like the ones I have up there but you know I don't need to sleep late every day especially while I'm in college I'm very high up 
and because of that i'll get a lot of sunlight so i'm hoping that these do the job and then right here is a big decorative pillow so oh actually i think i'm using this as a floor pillow for when my friends come over and stuff like that you guys have probably seen like those urban outfitter floor pillows i'm kind of gonna remake one with my sewing machine see what kind of fabrics and stuff i can pick up and then last two items of this haul is this super cute suit <laughs> did my voice sound weird when i said that but this super cute planter like i love this i think it is so cute and it's gonna be perfect for sitting on my coffee table for the um plants that i get because you guys i'm gonna be a plant mom like that's literally no kids just plants and then here is a terracotta pot that i also bought today that i'm actually about to diy for you guys so i wanted to film that and show you guys um the process that i go through for that and here is the paint that i am using oh i also got a lava lamp so it looks dope in action but all right y'all so i just got a package it's so big it was just delivered at my door and the amazon guy was actually being mad reckless so if anything is broken in here we know why but i decided to film it because i'm pretty sure it's got some apartment stuff um i'm actually having a housewarming so people are like sporadically sending me things so let's see what is in here so this is actually a set of glass like canisters i'll put a picture up somewhere but i'm about to individually go through all of these and check them because like i said the amazon guy was being mad reckless and i want to make sure that nothing's broken yeah, we're in tj maxx right now and we're picking up a gang of stuff so let me show y'all basically originally i was gonna get a cookware set but i decided to not do that but let me give you a little haul real quick so i just picked up this strainer then i got this cute little mug cute and it's only like 3.99 ideally i could find a can opener that's cheaper i'm sorry it's just so loud he just does not stop talking so for the cookware i got this cute little grill pan i really like these grill pans because my mom got one this is a non-stick fry pan and then i got a bigger bacon tray because the one i got from dollar tree i don't know why i did that so I didn't want to set myself up for failure, so I got a bigger one, and then I got a cast iron skillet. I finally found my stool. Me and Jonathan are in the city of Atlanta at some new thrift store that we've never been to before, and I found a stool. It's a little dirty, but I'm a I'm a DIY it. I'm gonna probably show you guys that process, but I'm so excited for this because this is exactly what I wanted, and it's only six dollars. How lit! how lit so let me show you guys what i just got from my grandma and my aunt look at all of this okay like these take me so far back to easter do y'all remember what easter when y'all were kids like and you would have the gigantic little like case like this with all the goodies the stuffed animals just all the necessities but this is like so amazing like my aunt makes these she need to make a business out of it but <laughs> she makes these really cool like cakes like these are towels and like face rags and um flower vases and stuff like that and it is just so cool to me how like she does this let me get y'all a haul my grandma gave me a serger like how amazing is that like look at this cool Serger. I have no idea how to work a serger, so we're gonna be learning together. Um, and all the equipment and stuff for it is in there, so I'm super excited. I got my mason jars now. I drink out of mason jars, and if I want to meal prep, these will be great. My godmom bought me this, it's a glass tea kettle with an infuser um, for my herbs and no i don't mean weed here's the bag where my sea moss is it's uh from my one of my aunt's shops that she'd be shopping at i would open it but i really don't want to take it apart so we've got my charcoal eco-friendly toothbrushes like i said all of my towels and stuff like that and then in here for one let's start off i love this basket i wanted a basket like this 
to hold my blankets and she really came in clutch so oh my god i'm like so appreciative of them for doing this um then we've got a gang of like these velvet hangers in this cream color this cream color is amazing like i just can't get over the color and then in here we've got they got me two little packets of my reusable straws and then i have reusable sandwich bags i hope you can kind of so you can't really see it but reusable sandwich bags they're really like regular ziploc bags that you would put a sandwich in if you're going off to school but they're reusable back here i have more and this is the thing that you put in the shower over the shower head to hold all your little you know uh toiletries and stuff like that and then on the side there are like ladles spatulas things that you use when you have a kitchen and now i finally have a kitchen so i am so happy and you know of course big thankful for all of this like i really didn't expect it and i appreciate them a lot. so because my housewarming was yesterday i have a little haul to show y'all which is actually a pretty big haul so starting off we gonna talk about this <laughs> now if you know me you know i love rick and morty and kendall got me this cute little me seeks 3d cup it's so cute and i love it like look at how unique this is it's so cute but let's go see everything else because it's in the front of the house i got a new brita filter because my last one broke kendall bought me that too <laughs> She got me a lot of stuff. So then here's a shoe rack because your girl likes shoes and to shop. I got water filters for my Brita um, water tank. Kendall also bought me um, a stun gun because, you know, I'm going to be in Atlanta. Then she also bought me this uh, brand new MacBook charger because it was so needed like my macbook charger is on its last legs um this is a laundry hamper on wheels this is a oh my god i'm so excited for this ma we gotta use the waffle maker before i go to uh to my apartment i gotta make y'all uh, some waffle house waffles Perfect. so it's a waffle maker and i've really and it's it's specifically the classic waffle maker this is a waffle maker they use at waffle house it's similar because i i don't like belgian waffles so i'm glad that it's the original waffle maker then i got a nutribullet which i'm so excited for i'm gonna be making a gang of stuff in there and these um rugs they're white but they look like this for the bathtub and the toilet oh and one of the last things over here is this i'm in love with this jordan and me toya bought me this and i love it like it's better than even the one they got it from urban outfitters and it's better than the one that i even had on my um list because you know your girl likes the chains and this is perfect it's a necklace holder and i'm pretty sure i can put like you know earrings or um rings down here and stuff and i'm just in love with this so it's it's literally perfect i love staggering my chains and this is going to be perfect for all of them this is my most prized purchase that i made all by myself and look at what it is <laughs> I am so excited to start editing, working, rec like I just everything I just I've always wanted an iMac before I just like wow I just cannot believe it I'm not really gonna take it out but it's just she she bad she bad as hell you know I'm in love I'm really in love with this and I haven't even powered it on it has been a long time coming in the process of this video right here so if you made it to the end thank you like oh my god i've been filming this video and putting so much hard work into it for months so i'm so excited to bring this to you guys there's a whole set of apartment videos coming soon so stay tuned other than that comment like subscribe same as always and you guys will see me in the next video